Hello, Wastelanders! It's Jewel Smith playing Fallout 4 as Fiona, General of the Minutemen. With me, as always, is my sweet pea, Hancock. We are in the Mechanist Lair again to show you another contraption. There's the Mechanist Lair. I've already done a settlement tour of that one. But we're going to look at the Heavy Weapons Forge. There it is right there. You will need the Gun Nut Rank 3 perk in order to build that. And let me show you what it makes. It makes these four weapons right here. <laughs> John. He is just glued to my side lately. Are you feeling a little insecure, John? Do you need a hug? It makes a missile launcher. It makes a minigun. It makes a fat man. And a Gauss rifle, or Gauss rifle, however that's pronounced. And they'll come out the basic versions. You'll still need to modify, upgrade them, and whatnot. But there you go. Those are the four weapons that it makes. And now you needed the Gun Nut Rank 3 perk to build the contraption in the first place. This is part of the Contraptions Workshop add-on for Fallout 4. Um, but to build, and to build each of the the Fat Man, the Minigun, and the Missile Launcher, you, you need the Gun Nut Rank 3 perk. But to make the Gauss Rifle, you need the Gun Nut Rank 4 and a Science perk. The first Science perk in order to be able to manufacture that with your machine. Alright, so I have heavy weapons hooked up over here. I've got a conveyor storage on the end of it so that the weapons roll out and into storage. I have a switch to turn it on and off. It is hooked up to a power source over here. I'm trying to think how much power some of them take they usually take like 12 to power them up. I'm not sure how much this one takes. Most folks that run with me don't. And it takes a terminal so that you can tell it which thing to make. Alright, so let's look at the heavy weapon forge. There's the fat man, gauss rifle, minigun, and missile launcher. For the fat man, it takes a lot of materials, a lot of adhesive, a lot of aluminum, gears, nuclear materials, screws, springs, and steel. Now, steel, springs, and screws, I think, are pretty easy to get from the Atoma Toys factory or whatever it is down by Quincy. Those giddy-up buttercup pieces, you can get that from those. You can also get it by scrapping weapons, so, you know, all of the raiders that you shoot <laughs> and the mutants and whatnot, just take all their weapons and scrap them. I think if you've got this the right scrapping perk, you'll be able to get things like gears and screws and stuff out of scrapping the weapons. Nuclear material, I think, is a little tougher to come by. I have a plasma rifle, so when I shoot things, I... I can collect a lot of nuclear material from those. I think it can also be found in s some items. I think like the biometric scanner maybe and uh, the blast radius board game and um, like a rad scorpion stinger. So there's, a, there's a few things like that that will have nuclear material in them. Aluminum of course. I've already done a video where I did an aluminum run. So if you want to check out my YouTube channel and see where you can go to get lots of aluminum, <laughs> you can look at that video. Um, Alright, so this is the Gauss Rifle Adhesive Aluminum Circuitry. You can buy shipments of circuitry. Circuitry is in a lot of junk. Uh, you can get it from 
robots if you have the automatron add-on and you kill robots sometimes they'll have circuitry um, i think you can buy it though you can buy shipments of circuitry sometimes from daisy in good neighbor or tinker tom at the railroad headquarters uh trash can carla might have it as well i'm not sure if there's others that might have it but you can buy that Silver. I end up with a lot of silver because I find a lot of silver lockets and pocket watches and forks and spoons and whatnot. And of course, wood and steel. I think everybody sells that now in the game. Minigun. Adhesive, gears, oil. Still takes a lot of screws and springs and steel. And the missile launcher. Adhesive, some screws, steel, and aluminum. Alright, so let's see if we can make something. Let me go turn it on. All I have to do is flip this switch here. And nothing's happening. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing a component. What do I need? I think I've got plenty of steel. I probably, looks like I don't have any aluminum. Now you can put, like I've got raw steel in here, raw springs, um, but you can also put in things that contain the materials like the tube flange, vegetable starch has adhesive in it, that sort of thing. Yeah, it looks like I don't have any aluminum. All right, well, let's go get some aluminum. Hey, John, is there aluminum in here? What about in here? There's some aluminum. Probably some things that contain aluminum. Let's look. Yeah, aluminum is one of those things that uh, I tend to use up very quickly. Especially if I'm making a lot of weapons and armor upgrades and things. Oh, let's grab those surgical trays. <laughs> because the, uh, the machines won't draw from your settlement pool of resources. Let's see if that's enough aluminum to get it going. Try flipping it on and off again. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Nope, it's still not working. Oh, nope, there it comes. <laughs> All right, it made us one missile launcher. I guess it had just enough aluminum to squirt one of those out. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, I've already done a contraptions video about the ammunition plant. This one over here. Unfortunately, the ammunition plant does not make missiles. It does not make mini nukes. It does not make plasma cartridges or fusion ammo or anything for the energy weapons. This is everything that the uh, ammo plant makes. It's all it's all bullets. Except for the, the two millimeter. Now I think, isn't that the ammo for the Gauss rifle? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that it is. Let's take a look. I'm curious now. Yeah, that's two millimeter. So you can make ammunition for the Gauss rifle, but you can't manufacture ammunition for the missile launcher. Go back on there. There you go. Um, the minigun, though, doesn't that take, is that 5mm or is that 5.56? Let's take a look at that. The minigun, yeah, that's 5mm. So you can make ammunition, you can manufacture ammunition for that one as well. Because this one does make, it does make five millimeter. There you go. But it won't make mini nukes or missiles. 
Oh well. <laughs> so anyway, that is the heavy weapon forge. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in seeing the rest of my mechanist lair or the other contraptions, just check out my YouTube channel. I also do other Fallout videos and Skyrim videos. See you next time. Bye.